What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm John the Video Guy and in today's video I'm going to show you guys a pretty cool technique in After Effects to create some nice blood drop animations. Now I know Halloween's around the corner so this will be cool if you're creating something fun and special for Halloween. So let me show you what we're going to be creating here. I just dragged a stock photo just to give you context but this is what we got going on here. So we have blood drops coming uh, and from the top of the screen. So I'm going to show you guys how to create this inside After Effects and it's pretty easy. There's no third-party plugins needed and you can use tools right in After Effects to create this effect. So before we get started feel free to hit the like button. It really helps my channel out and with that let's dive into this tutorial. Alright so what we're going to do first is go to composition, new composition and we'll name our composition. Drop blood drops uh, feel free to adjust these as needed. I'm going to leave it at 1920 by 1080. Click OK. Next, we're going to go to Layer New Solid. And we'll, this will be our blood drop. And change the color to a nice blood color. This will be the color that the effect uses. Click OK. Then click OK. And the effect we're going to use to create the blood drop, if you go into effects and presets, we're going to type in CC Mr. Mercury. Under simulation and drag that to your solid. Alright, and if we hit play, we'll see what happens here. But basically, if we scrub the timeline, basically a bunch of blobs happen. So what we're going to do is take this and conform it a little bit to make it... Uh, like a blood drop drop from the top of the screen to the bottom. So here are the settings that I'm going to change to get that going. I'm going to change the radius to zero and change uh, the radius Y to zero. And the producer, I'm going to make sure that this value is zero. That way it starts at the very top of the composition. And this will be important later on as I'll show you. Velocity, we're going to change to 0.1. Birth rate, we're going to change to 2. Longevity can change to about 7.2, so a little bit longer. Gravity can stay at 1. And the resistance, we're going to add some resistance to kind of conform or hold back the blob to 3.44. And then extra can stay the same under animation, change it to direction. Then change blob influence to 6%. And then the influence map, change this to blob out. And blob birth size, we want it to start at zero where there's no blob and then end larger. And the blob death size, we're gonna change to 0.27. So now if we play this back or scrub it, we can see we get a nice blob forming. And for context, I'm gonna add this photo back in. And we'll scale this down a little bit. All right, so that's one blood drop, but what if you want a few of these? I'll show you how to adjust the settings if you want to make them look a little bit different, but still want to show the blood drop type of animation. So to make this look a little different throughout, if you duplicate, hit Command D, or Control D if you're on a PC in your composition to duplicate the solid. The settings that you'll want to adjust is the gravity. So if you increase the gravity, it'll get longer and then the dust size. So you can adjust the dust size and the gravity accordingly in order to kind of make adjustments. And just keep in mind, this is what I talked about earlier. The start is at the very top of the composition. So it's important that, you know, that it's at the top and not like halfway through because if you make this long enough, um, it might cut out at the bottom of the composition. So yeah, just feel free to keep, keep duplicating and adjusting the gravity and the death size in order to get a few different blood drops coming in. They can vary in size, you know, feel free to get creative here and do as you will to create some different unique blob effects here in After Effects. 
So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and see how to use this effect to create some interesting blobs. Now this CC Mercury, Mr. Mercury effect, you can use in a lot of different kind of liquid type of effects. So feel free to mess around with the settings. This isn't only uh, good for uh, blood drops, but it could be used for a lot of other di different liquid applications as well. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more After Effects tutorials, I put a playlist together. I'll link it up here. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.